Kwani Kayode names those who killed Abacha, Abiola, Abta, and Mustafa's claims. Femi Fani Kayode, a former aviation minister, on Wednesday named those behind the murder of former Nigeria head of state, General Sani Abacha, and businessman MKO Abiola. Fani Kayode claimed that Abacha was killed by one of the bodyguards of the Palestinian president, Yasser Arafat. He claimed that Arafat's bodyguard poisoned Abacha through a handshake. In a series of tweets, the former minister alleged that the incident was done with the knowledge of the United States Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, and two former Nigerian head of states. He also alleged that the same people were responsible for the death of Abiola. According to Fanny Kayode, General Sani Abacha was killed by one of, of late Yasa Arafa's bodyguards. He administered poison to him through a handshake. This was done at the behest of the CIA, two former Nigerian head of state and a former head of military intelligence, who also CIA agents knew about the plan. The same people decided that MKO Abiola had to be killed as well in order to balance the equation. The CIA, through Suzanne, through Suzanne Rice and Ambassador, Ambassador Petrin did the same, did the rest. Nigerians, Nigerians, please know your history and find out the truth. Stop accepting the lies that are fed to you and stop uh, brushing evil under the carpet. Neither Abasha nor Abiola deserve to be murdered even if we did not all agree with either of, or both of them. The CIA has no friends and there is nothing more des uh, despicable than working for a foreign intelligence agency against, against your own people and nation. Meanwhile, a former chief secretary, a former chief sec secretary officer of Abasha Hamza al-Mustafa had said the former head of state developed a brief illness that led to his death after a handshake with Arafat's bodyguard in Abuja. Well, people of Nigerians, I think it is very good we understand history. Now, when a, a, a head of state General Abacha died that time. There were whole speculation in Nigeria that it is it was a prostitute that gave him an ample to eat. And after he ate that ample, that was the cause of his death. And up till now, this is what is being believed by people that a prostitute killed him. Now another evidence is being released that it was not a prostitute that Abacha had a handshake with one of the bodyguards of, of Yasa Arafat. That was what led to his death. But if I may ask a question here, what is the relationship between Abacha and Arafat's bodyguard? I think they might have a relationship. And why would they want to kill him? I think maybe somebody might have, uh, might have caused that action to take place maybe in nigerians because politicians are not friendly and they don't love one another that is why they say politics is a dirty games so you might not really know why they plan this against him but this is the way they want to take him away and now he has died so and then i, w I don't want to i don't want uh, um uh, femi fanny coyote to blame the nigerians this is a secret things that, has that, that took place at that time. 
If you are not there, how will we? How will you have known? But even even what you are saying here now, uh, 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 people will hardly believe, because they will ask question: Were you there? How did you come to the knowledge of this? You know, many will ask this question. That means the death of uh, 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 of Abasha he, 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 he is he is dead. Nobody can really tell what kills him at that time. And a lot of Nigerians will be in doubt whether what you are saying is true. But a couple of days ago, uh, 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 Mustafa said something closer to what you have said, of which if we, we should compare them, there is that there is an element of truth. But uh, it, it, it is very uh, difficult to believe at this time. Now, we want to say here that uh, I do not know why this history is coming out this time. Could it help to bring the insecurity of Nigeria to an end? Or uh, are they trying to tell us that uh, these people, this uh, bodyguard of Arafat, or the, 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 the Arafat leaders, I mean the Palestinian leader who came to Abuja with his bodyguard, do they come in order to assassinate the head of state at that time? Are they trying to tell us to beware of those people? I don't know. The, 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 the readers of this news have so many things to learn from these people. Because at that time, nobody was expecting a head of state to die. But, but he died and it was a shock to everybody. So at this point in time, we want to appeal to the Nigerians that is it is good to know your history. And again, I want to speak this way. When I, I believe this thing happened uh, uh, many years ago, and uh, it was not brought out for people to know like this. One of the situation of Nigeria that baffled me is that when things are happening at that particular time, nobody will say it out. But after many years, people begin to say different things. Well, that is why it will be making it difficult for people to believe whether they are saying the truth or not. So I am expecting that if somebody being involved for corruption, they should leak it out at that particular time. Not when time has gone, people has forgotten the issue. I mean, the person might have ruled and has resigned or has, has finished his tenure. He is in somewhere you begin to bring out something. And so the law might just play a little role upon him and then the thing will be soon other carpet. But when it is very hot, I think that is that is when it will be very good to uh, to, to, to be attentive.